look in Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. Jesus is teaching here, and this is God's word. Let's hear what it says. No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? It's a great challenge from Jesus, and he's talking to us about the cares and the worries that can consume us about everyday life. You know, the messages that come to us every day are fear-based, and they keep driving home this what-if and the challenges, and we're not going to have this, we're not going to have that. It's going on all around, you know. And like, what are we going to do when the shelves are empty? It's like, hey, man, if we know who God is, we know that he's our provider. It's not the grocery stores. <laughs> I'm not saying we shouldn't be grateful to have them and not go there. That's not what I mean at all. And neither does God. He's saying, hey, I know your needs. And he always takes care of us. So we need to stop allowing the fear and the anxieties that the world tries to put on us and have us be consumed with the moment and thinking of what we have to have and begin to just have peace in Christ. And right now, with the fear motives that are going on all around us, if we have faith and we're just calm in the midst of everything, it will create opportunities for us to share the good news of Jesus Christ and why we are not anxious about everyday life. God is faithful. He is good. Money has never been the answer for anything. Yeah, we use it. We need to have it. But it's not the answer. He is, and He takes care of us. God loves you. He's called us to be His church, His ambassadors, His representatives. So let's be His church. God bless you today.